being here and, and obviously winning the game uh, against Penn State last year, you believe, you always believe, and uh, the kids believe, and you know, and, and, and coaching the NFL almost every week, it comes down to the last series. So you have to believe. And, and in college, every week is so important. The stakes are so high that sometimes you can let your emotions take, take, take over. Our kids didn't do that. They hung in there, they believed, and they made plays, and they won the game. The way Ryan? was pressured a little bit in the TCU game, you know, it felt pressure against a team that, but how did you feel like he responded in an environment like this, being down by multiple scores in the fourth quarter? I, 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 I think he still showed some points. You know, I think you, you wish he had a couple plays back, but there were times where right. he had to throw the ball away when it wasn't fun, you know? We didn't have momentum going, and I think that's showing some maturity for him. Did you figure Penn State was gonna come after him? Everyone was talking about how much they blitz. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they, they blitz a lot anyways, almost half the time. So we knew that was going to be part of the plan. And that's why, you know, some of the screen passes came in big towards the end of the game. Right, right, can you explain the a lot of those screen plays in the past from Ohio State, maybe before you were here? How how much of that was in the game plan and how crucial was that, especially on that, that touchdown drive for, for KJ there? Yeah, really, really important. You know, I mean, when they are blitzing and they are rushing really hard and, and doing that, it helps their offense alignment. And, Schematically, it gives us a chance. It obviously gave us a chance to get, score, get that first score down there. That was big. And then, it, you know, on the four-yard line, we call one there. And then a couple more in that drive. It was big. Does it give a guy like Dwayne confidence, though? Just short completions, maybe, in an environment like that? Just maybe build your confidence? We've got a lot of skill guys. And anytime you can get the ball to those guys in space, good things are happening to us. So we got to keep finding ways to do that week in and week out. Ryan, right. when you see a guy like Benjamin Vicker step up like he did tonight, you maybe not just walked up. But what does it do for him, and what does it do for the team to have a guy like that? Yeah, step up and make a play? yeah, huge. We just mentioned, you know, I mean, for for him to make that play in this moment shows his maturity. But it didn't just happen tonight. This has been a process. It's an ongoing. Did a great job in the TCU game. Made some big blocks. He's been showing progress, and it was coming. We kept saying it's going to come. It came right here. Hey, Ryan, Urban Meyer was talking about how hard it is to make in-game adjustments, or said that you guys did a really good job of making in-game adjustments, especially at halftime. How hard is it? to make adjustments against a team like this? Oh, we got a great staff. And Kevin Wilson and, and myself, you know, we, we all work together. Uh, you know, Coach Studd and, and Tony Alford and Brian Hart and the whole offensive staff and Coach Meyer. You know, we all talk about it at half 